Hi, in this video, we are going to learn the preparation of acetaldehyde from butyene, that is from alkene. This is otherwise known as ozonolysis of alkene. Let's write the structure of butyene CH3, CH double bond, CH, CH3. This is butyene. We are going to react it, it with ozone. That is O3. This bond will get here and this will come here and this in this manner it will be converted. So this ozone O3 will get attached in this manner. CH3, CH, oxygen, here CH, CH3 and here oxygen and here oxygen. Now we are going to react this ozonide. This is known as ozonide. We are going to react it with zinc and H2O that is water. The bond get cleared in this manner. Okay. We get CH3, CHO. Two molecules of CH3, CHO that is acetaldehyde. The remaining this H2O and this O will get removed as h 2 O2 that is hydrogen peroxide. Let's write the name for these compounds. This is but 2 in but 2 in reacts with ozone. We get a ozonoid as an intermediate ozonoid. Okay, and ozonoid on hydrolysis in presence of zinc, we get hydrogen peroxide and acetaldehyde in this manner okay this is acetaldehyde let's summarize the reaction butene reacts with ozone to form a ozonoid which on subsequent cleavage with zinc and water it gives acetaldehyde now we are going to learn the ozonolysis of 2-methyl butene that is, we are going to prepare acetone as well as acetaldehyde in this reaction. So, we are taking CH3, CH, double bond C, single bond CH3 and here CH3. This is known as 2-methyl butene. We are going to react it, it with ozone that is O3. The O3 ozone will get attached in the same manner as we learnt in the previous reaction here oxygen C oxygen oxygen CH3 CH3 now we are going to react it, it with yes, zinc and water we are going to hydrolysis what happens the bond get cleaved in this manner okay and this H2O and this oxygen will get released as hydrogen peroxide H2O2. The remaining thing here CH3, CH3, CHO, CH3, CHO that is acetaldehyde plus CH3, CO, CH3. So CH3, C double bond O, CH3. This is acetone. Let's write the name for the structures. This is 2-methyl but 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2-methyl, 4 carbons are there. So but and in the second carbon, the double bond is present. So but 2 in is the name of the reactants. We are reacting it with ozone. Intermediate is ozonoid. Later, the bond gets cleaved in this manner. While treating it with zinc and water, we get acetaldehyde. and acetone. In this reaction, hydrogen peroxide is released. Okay, let's summarize the reaction. When 2-methyl butene reacts with ozone to form ozonoid, which on subsequent cleavage with zinc and water, it gives acetaldehyde and acetone. Finally, we are going to prepare formaldehyde by using ethylene and ozone. For this, we, we need to take terminal 
double bond compound that is terminal alkene let's take the structure ch2 double bond ch2 what is this this is ethylene on treatment with ozone it forms a ozonide in the same manner how it formed in the previous reactions o ch2 and here on o and here oxygen and this now we are going to react it, it with zinc and water yes the bond gets cleaved in the same manner so this h2 and this oxygen will get removed as hydrogen peroxide h2o2 the remaining things ch2o will be get released in this manner h c h o two molecules here one and here one this is called formaldehyde this is called formaldehyde let's write the name for these structures this is ethylene reacts with ozone and forms a ozonoid which on further hydrolysis in presence of zinc it gives formaldehyde and hydrogen peroxide is released let's summarize the reaction ethylene reacts with ozone to form ozonoid which on subsequent cleavage with zinc and water it gives formaldehyde thank you